Hello everyone, Jan Hicks of Jan Hicks Creates here. I told you we were going to be doing a Hawaii theme today, right? Did I tell you that? <laughs> I don't remember what I told you. But I do remember what I had for breakfast because I made pancakes. <laughs> and I have basically the same thing for breakfast every single day, so... <laughs> Anyways... Let's see here. Let me put that stitch in there. It is 309 on March 15th. It is up to 78 degrees, saying it's going up to 80. I don't know whether it'll get up to 80 now. 3 o'clock, we're pretty much heading down. Down. A lot more clouds than there were this morning when I talked to you. So it's, it's pretty pleasant right now. And I am working on the Jeanette Douglas piece, Aloha Hawaii. You remember this piece? I saw it first at Fiddlesticks 2, the cross-stitch store here in Honolulu, and had to have it. Got in touch with Jeanette, and she graciously agreed to, to print out a copy and let me buy it. I believe several of you have also reached out to her and maybe more will as well. So the fabric called for is a 32 count. I'm actually using a 30 count, and I'm going to be working on the coconut trees up, the coconut trees, the palm trees up here. They have little coconuts in them, right? So she uses most, well, she uses all silk. I have substituted out a lot of the silk for floss, some over dyed, some not. Um, I did order, she uses Gloriana, um, Crescent Color Works Belle Soie, and um, one silk in colors. I was able to get the silk in colors at the um, needlepoint store here in Honolulu. That's why one of the reasons why I stopped there. Like I said, I'm using a lot of the cotton, but I have ordered um, some of the Glorianas because I did not have any cotton floss that would work. I ordered the Gloriana for this beautiful wave pattern down here, those gorgeous blues, because I just had nothing and I really want it to look like that. I also ordered the color that's in Aloha here, as well as some of these flowers. It's used up here in the volcano. Again, I had nothing that was similar and I really wanna make sure I get that look. So those are on their way, so I won't be able to work on those, of course, until that gets here. But I have everything I need for the um, palm trees. I am using just cotton floss there. I thought I would work on the trunk. That is a specialty stitch. It is called the Tide Oblong Stitch. So that's what I'm working on now. The leaves, I'm just using um, DMC 580 and 581. The trunk, I'm using Primitive Cocoa from Victorian Motto. You can see that here. She calls for Gloriana Milk Chocolate, so it it's, seems to be pretty similar. So I want to position this so I can actually see the pattern as well. Now, I do have something special set up here that I hope is going to work. Hi. Um, if it doesn't work, you won't see it. <laughs> you won't know what I'm talking about because I won't add it to the video. But if you see something different in this video, that's what it is. <laughs> you'll, you'll understand when you see it, if it works. Um, let's see. I should probably actually have you turned around so you can look outside at the beautiful scenery instead of looking at me. <laughs> That'd be much nicer. So let's see. Um, oh shoot, I meant to bring over my pretty little Hawaii. Oh, and Mike has started his game. Which is um, I don't know whether I can explain to you where it even is in that pile of projects. You guys are just going to have to wait. Mike is home. He's playing his game. He has made, um, so far, he's made potato salad. We are having um, potato salad and ribs and corn on the cob for dinner tonight. You all are invited. <laughs> um, I'm not even stitching. I'm talking to you instead of stitching down here. So if I look down... <laughs> 
we're stitching together, right? That's what happens. Um, trying to keep the chart out of the camera view too. Um, hold on, let me see where I'm supposed to go next. Down there, down there. Okay, another one down there. Um, yeah, so he makes potato salad in the Instant Pot, as he does most things. He does this um, kind of cooking everything together, the potatoes, he chops them all up, puts a couple of eggs, um, whole eggs on top, and cooks it all in the Instant Pot so the eggs get cooked with the potatoes and then he lets it cool and he'll mix it all together with all the other, yep, all the other yummy stuff. And that will go in the refrigerator to cool. And then he'll make the ribs later in the Instant Pot. We got some awfully yummy looking ribs at Costco the other day. So, that's what's for dinner tonight. Friday night in the Hicks household. Let me see, where am I going next? It's interesting, these stitches are kind of offset from each other. So I want to make sure. So, oh, that goes there. Okay. So, um, like I said, the pattern calls for 32 count. Oh, for heaven's sakes, my floss is jumping around. It calls for 32 count, and I'm using 30. Now, in her instructions, she puts that you should be using one strand of silk for both the specialty stitches and the cross stitch. I don't know whether Gloriana silk is perhaps thicker than DMC than the than the floss for than the cotton floss. Um, I've never worked with Gloriana. You know, on 32, I'd usually be using two strands of floss. So. Um, Perhaps Gloriana is slightly thicker that you would just use one strand. I am using two strands here though because this is, like I said, a 30 count. So it is a little bit bigger of a count than the 32 even. And I don't think one strand would have covered well enough. We'll see when the, um, when the Gloriana gets here if I can get away with one strand or if I'll need two strands of that. Um... I've never used Gloriana, did I say that? I don't remember if I said that. So we'll ha just have to see how it looks. And I hope it doesn't, you know, mixing cotton floss and silk, I hope it doesn't look too bad. It's too bad if it does. That's what I'm using. <laughs> Mike's laughing at me. What's new? <laughs> so, speaking of Victorian motto, like I said, I'm using primitive cocoa. For the tree trunks here. Um, if you are not signed up on her mailing list, I highly recommend that you do that. Her website is victorianmottosamplershop.com. I'll try to remember to link it below. These videos are kind of quick and dirty, so I don't put a whole lot in the description box for these, but I will try and remember to link her. It's S-H-O-P-P-E for shop. So kind of like the old English way of spelling it. Um, anyway, she is, she does giveaways. I swear, every couple of days she's coming out with a new giveaway. So she's currently, oh, I don't even remember what she has now. Um, I think it's the wildflower ones. There might be another, um, seems to me there's two that are currently open. The wild, she found a wildflower an old wildflower pack that she wanted to give away and she had some for sale as well. And possibly, possibly another gray set. Don't remember. Um, but like I said, go to her website, sign up for her newsletter so you can be informed of all of these giveaways. You don't wanna miss it. You know, I used to get the um, monthly fiber, the, the monthly floss packs from her. I got six skeins of the primitive and six skeins of the brights. Hold on. I have to look at pattern. So that's that, the, that's that three. Okay, I'm going to jump up there. Boy, this is, um, Got to keep aware on this because the it is so staggered. 
hold, please. I think there's one here. Whoops. There's one here. And that's just half a one. So we have those two. We have that one. We come down and do half a one on the top there. Okay. Um, anyways. I used to get the floss, the monthly floss, and I stopped that before we moved out here. And I'm so tempted to join again. But you know, as you noticed, whenever I did the, uh, oops, get back here. When I did the floss pick for, oh, now that's, I remember what I had for breakfast, but I don't remember what pattern that was. <laughs> that video I did where I was starting something oh quilters cottage that's what it was and I picked all the floss you saw how much floss I have right I don't need any I don't need any more floss that's right <laughs> you know I don't know why he didn't stay at work he came home early again today and he home, just home by now anyway. yeah you would have been home by now anyways but anyways he just you know heckle heckle, heckle. it's a good thing I like you so much it's a good thing you like me so much. <laughs> oh my. He's sitting right behind you guys, so I want one of you to reach out and like whack him upside the head. <laughs> it's getting out of hand. So anyways, sign up. You will not be sorry if you sign up for Nancy's newsletter um, to get all the information on her giveaways. Like I said, she gives away a ton of stuff. The other news I wanted to share with you, and I'm going to keep you in suspense because I have to look at the pattern again. Hold on. So that one there, that one. Okay, so we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven full ones coming down. Okay. Um, I know many of you follow Leslie Hurley, Fat Cat Flossing on Instagram or here on Floss Tube. If you don't, she is, um, she raises Burman cats, raises, um, breeds them, shows them. And she just, I think yesterday, just two of her cats had litters, had kittens. The one litter was premature. I don't remember how many days she said um, premature that it was. She says that does not happen very often at all in the cat world. She did lose two kittens in that litter. One cat survived, one kitten survived, and she had pictures, um, actually a little video clip on Instagram this morning, and it's just a little tiny thing. She showed it with the other two. I don't know whether the other litter only had two or whether that's just, you know, who was there when she was doing the video, but, um, so the, the two kittens were full term and then the one kitten was, um, was a little bit premature and the little one, you know, definitely a little runt, um, just the tiniest little things because it was premature. It didn't have a whole lot of fur. Um, she did say she was able to, I think, drop or feed it. So, she said its belly's all full and you could see it had a really little like a round little belly and then tapering up to these skinny little shoulders so anyway keep leslie and her little kitties in your hearts that 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 tiny little kitty will will thrive and do okay she thinks it'll be okay but i'm sure the first few days are are a little bit worrisome when you have a little a little tiny thing like that Let's see, what else did I want to tell you guys? Because so much has happened since I talked to you this morning, right? Um, I was having a conversation, well, I had conversations with so many people today. You know, Mike was so worried that I wouldn't be socializing <laughs> since I don't have a job outside the home and, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much here except when I'm going grocery shopping. Right? I tell you what, how many people did I talk to today? I, I don't know. I, I had conversations going left and right this morning. <laughs> I might not be <laughs> I might not be talking to you guys face to face, but holy cow. 
I definitely am I'm socializing. But anyway, um, one of the conversations was with Stitches with Sophie. She's Linda. Um, Stitches with Sophie on Instagram. She is, hold on a second, guys. I have to count again because I totally, totally forgot how many I'm supposed to be doing here. One, two, three, four, five. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You guys probably remember that. I'm sure there were many of you saying, seven, Jan, seven. Anyways, Linda is going to be going to Montana uh, to her son's place. She has a son who is a lumberjack. I think that is so cool to begin with. And I don't know whether she's just house-sitting or dog-sitting. I'm sure she's told me, but I've totally forgotten. But anyway, she's going to be spending six weeks in Montana while he goes to Australia for lumberjack competitions. <laughs> All right, tell me that's not straight out of Monty Python. <laughs> it is just so cool. She sent me some pictures. She sent me um, a video of him. OMG. Um... There's like, I guess he's competing against a fellow lumberjack and there's two, I think she said the poles are like 80 foot tall and it shows these two guys shimmying, although it's not shimmying, I'm sure they have whatever kind of stuff on their shoes to get up the pole and then come back down and of course they're trying to, to beat each other, whoever's the quickest. <laughs> I need to ask her if I can insert the video because it is like, holy cow! <laughs> not, so lumberjack competitions i told linda i said who knew that that was a thing she said i knew <laughs> smart ass oh my god i love you guys it's such a beautiful wide world out there one two three four five six i found out that rose um rose heck we see her a lot she does a lot of gorgeous samplers we see her on some of the facebook groups and on instagram posting her beautiful work she's a massage therapist so she's been giving me some some uh tips on what i should be considering whenever i go see a massage therapist for my back it's too bad my son isn't out here he just passed his massage therapy license test so um, he has to get his resume together. I have been hounding him. In fact, I haven't hounded him yet today. I need to do that. Of course, at this point it is, well, I guess it's only nine o'clock on the East Coast. He'll still be up. I need to hound him to get that done. So anyways, if he were here, he could do it. Although I don't know whether I'd want my son. No. That would just be weird, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure who would be more uncomfortable, me or him. Probably me. <laughs> oh my, that's kind of cool, isn't it? That textured stitch. So let's see, that was seven down. Oh, that's interesting. All right, so then I have to make another little leg. I think it's just over one thread down here, like I'm starting the next one. Oh, you know, that's probably needs to go. Hmm. The, so where I am, let me show you on the picture and why I'm kind of humping. So it's hard to see this, I know. I'm coming down here, right? And right where this line meets this back stitching that's the edge of the volcano, there's like one little stitch coming down. And I don't want to make it too long and and have it hanging, you know, past where the line of the volcano is. I might wait on that one and fill it in after I get the back stitch on the volcano done. I think that's actually, the, the back stitch is actually one of the cotton, I substituted one of the cotton flosses for, so um, I could actually put that in. Er, trying to get my floss here. All right, so. Back down there. 
so the next row going up is halfway in between. So this weekend I've told Mike that I'm going to interview him for his YouTube channel as kind of his intro, his little intro video. So I will let you guys know when that is up. I'm not going to let him put me off and say, oh, I don't feel like it. I don't feel up to it. Because we're going to get this started. This weekend, I think he got some yeast, so I think he's going to be making me some gluten-free baguettes. Yep, 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 yep. Doesn't that sound yummy? He made those quite often back when we were still in Maryland, and they are, I mean, gluten-free baguettes, right? Who would have thunk it? But they are just like, he, he tried several different recipes and found one that really works and is really just like, just like regular baguettes. So maybe I can get him to do a video of that. We've had a video request for cheesecake, but I don't know when he'll be making another cheesecake. We still have cheesecake in there to finish. So anyways, guys, I think that is all for today. I'm at 21 minutes. This was kind of a long one. So I'm going to see if I can get my, um, my technology game on and have a little surprise for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Did you hear that? Soto voice in the background. The cursing starts. But I have my geek with me to help me. So she just curses at him. <laughs> <laughs> and he needs to learn how to do this too since he has videos in his future. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I still hope to do another one of these today. I'm going to hopefully get the, the palm trees done. The next one will be... Did I say something this morning? Oh, I was going to start the punch needle. Maybe I'll do that while there's still... <laughs> That's a great way to take out frustration. I might do that while there's still light. Just go ahead and start filming it while there's still light coming in here. Because I want to show you guys, um, you know, what I do to, to put the, to transfer the pattern onto um, the cloth. So stay tuned for that. I'm doing it. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.